Welcome to the Securisys 365 webinar. My name is Robert Rogenmoser. I'm a founder and CEO of Securisys. Um, a few things before we start the session here. As you can see, we are already recording this session. So we uh, will share it with you not immediately afterwards as we're going to cut out a few pieces and uh, all the things I'm blabbering right now will be cut out too. So um, other housekeeping stuff is uh, please mute yourself. Um, uh, you have a chance to stay questions at the end. I will have a, we have a Q and A session that I will moderate. So please hold on until the end. And uh, the other thing also, if you're uh, not presenting, please uh, turn off your video feed. Um, as we have uh, found, it's, it helps with the quality, the bandwidth uh, savings that we have, uh, particularly as we have people from all over the world joining us. So, so um, today in the webinar, uh, I'm joined by Najib Awini. Uh, founder and CEO of Duokey, and hans Rodi Knaus, uh, our Microsoft cloud, cloud security expert here at Securisys. Um, to quickly introduce uh, the two people to you is uh, Najib actually uh, did his master in computer science and math and cryptography uh, in France from NCMAC. Um, and before founding Duokey last year. He has over 20 years of experience in digital identity and other security projects and worked at uh, companies like Thales, Gemalto, Accenture. And uh, when he moved to Switzerland, he was at Elka and Seba. The Seba, might, you might know it, is one of the first crypto banks here in Switzerland. hans Rodi Knaus uh, joined Securisys just recently. He is a uh, uh, he's been with Securisys for a month now. Before that, he has been working a lot on Microsoft projects. Um, he has been uh, has has quite a few customers that uh, were dealing with uh, moving to Microsoft, moving to the Microsoft services, moving to the Microsoft cloud, and how to do this securely. And uh, that's his experience. And uh, we will see when we talk about more about uh, Securisys 365 and everything fits together. Our agenda today is, uh, our agenda is here on this slide. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Securisys first, uh, since we have a lot of people that haven't uh, been uh, on the Securisys call so far. Um, then Hans Rodi will talk about uh, Securisys 365, and Najib will talk more about uh, Microsoft EKE double key encryption, and we will do a quick demo on Securisys 365. Uh, there's a few things that are needed for Securisys 365, like uh, an HSM, and I will tell you a little bit more what an HSM is if you don't know already and how we provide that in Securisys 365 with our Cloud's HSM service. In the end, we will uh, have a Q&A, um, so please hold your questions until the end. And uh, so far, everybody, thank you for muting and turning off your video feed. So about Securisys, so Securities is, is really a, a security player in the world of digital transformation. As we all realize, <clears throat> everything becomes digital. Uh, we become digital, things are digital, they have digital identities, and we do everything digitally in the cloud somewhere. And to do that securely, we need trusted cryptography and trusted computing, and that's what we provide. <clears throat> Our vision is therefore a digital world where all the identities are secured and everybody's protected and things are private. And we're doing this 
by providing the best possible solutions to safeguard your data, your identities, and your communications. Story of Securus is, is we founded the company quite a while ago uh, in 2014. Uh, we are close to our seventh birthday. Uh, the company is a Swiss company. It's owned by the founders, by employees, and a small group of Swiss private investors. We are headquartered here in Switzerland, in Zurich, and we have a subsidiary in Hong Kong, and we have another subsidiary in Germany. Quite a few customers, and our reference is really the Swiss interbank clearing system, the banking system here in Switzerland, where we protect transactions of over 100 billion Swiss francs, US dollars or Euro per day. Our products are FIPS certified and uh, the company's ISO 9001 certified and our Clouds HSM services ISO 27K certified. Here's a peek at our customers and partners. So you might rec recognize a few names. And with that, I'll hand over to Hans Rodi, uh, who will talk more about Securasys 365. Thank you, Robert. And welcome, everybody, to our Securasys 365 Roadshow. So my question, or my topic here is, why did we do that? Why did we come to make Securasys 365? As you can imagine from its name, Securasys 365 is a relative of Microsoft 365, one of the most common platforms, cloud platforms these days. Not only because of the pandemics, but it's just doing everything Microsoft customers are expecting their tools to do. But then, because of the pandemics, workloads went out of the office. And therefore, we face a few additional risks to those we had before. Using Microsoft 365 is proper risk mitigation, makes better processes in many aspects, works fine, except for some risks by design. We have some such as data breach. You don't know where your data goes to when it leaves your environment, when it leaves your company. Then you have the data protection rules that make you store your data according to some rules like GDPR. And because the law must be observed, of course, you need to know nothing can happen to your data leaving your house. And you may have some reputational risks, of course because people expect you to do what it takes to protect their data. But since data goes to Microsoft, what can we do? We can encrypt data, because encrypted data is meaningless for everybody not having a key. So that's where we need keys, encryption keys. Since there's no decryption without keys at all, we have to keep these keys as safe as possible. And keys are safe within HSMs. Most of you know that, but I'm mentioning it because some of you might be new to the topic. HSM is hardware, hardware security module, which we build and sell at Securasys. You may have hardware security modules on your own, on-premises, of course. But you can also have hardware security modules as a service. Within Securasys Cloud's HSM, you just get the keys you need and you get the space to store your keys safely. This is made in Switzerland with Swiss equipment by Swiss design by a Swiss organization. All within the same legislation area, the same legislation authority 
which is responsible for making the law and enforcing the rules, rules about how you must store your data. Microsoft, of course, is not Swiss legislation. You all know you will have the Cloud Act in the US, granting American authorities access to your files. Maybe. Most probably they don't. But the possibility exists and that's not what you want and maybe not what you are allowed to accept. So we have to do something about it. Microsoft encrypts data by design. The key is given with Microsoft 365. Now another key comes into the game. It comes from Securisys 365. Securisys delivers a second key to encrypt your data one more time. And you will need both of these keys to decrypt that data to access your content. That's how you get double key encryption. Now we you have your file signed and encrypted with two different keys and you need the same two different keys again to decrypt your data and read it. Whoever doesn't have both will not be able to read your content. It's like having a bank deposit box. You go to your bank, bring along your key and the bank employee brings along his key. Only then you can open the deposit box. There's no other access. This is the metaphor of double key encryption, of which Nagib will tell you how it's done in detail and how keys are exchanged. Nagib, please. Thanks, Ansrudi, for the um, for the explanation. Um, so let's do the the deep dive of uh, double key encryption first, and then we do a demo. Um, so what you see here is the full uh, full architecture of the double key encryption that Ansrudi just exposed before, and I will explain the data flow. So this slide comes from Microsoft. I just adapt it, where you can see the the, the solution uh, used for Securisys 365. So in uh, the first one, the first flow is when you open your Microsoft Office application. So it could be Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and also Outlook. Your Microsoft Office clients download what we call the sensitivity label. And I will show you a demo what is a sensitivity label just after. So you get the sensitivity label downloaded on your Office application client. A label is a, a Microsoft protection label, exactly that. So here you see um, when you want to protect the document, you have to just select the label and then your document is double encrypted. So I go back to the previous slide. The previous one. So first step, you don't know the label. Second step, when you want to, you create a document, then you want to protect it with a double key encryption. So your label will be configured to use a double key encryption system. And this is where Securisys 365 along with dual key solutions comes. Um, the double key encryption label will in fact uh, allow you to protect the second key the key that Microsoft, uh, the, the, the orange key you see here, is the key that Microsoft provides to protect the metadata. Only the metadata, not the document. So what is the metadata? They are permission who can access the document and also which double key encryption system you used. So this is protected by the Microsoft orange key, which is managed by Microsoft, not the document. The document is encrypted with the green key. We call that content key. So the green key is unique per document. It's, it is generated on your device at the endpoint. It's not generated in the cloud. So it's generated on the fly per document, unique per document. And the time you apply the double key encryption label, this key is 
encrypted at the device again using the public key part of the double key encryption. So the public key is coming from the HSM through the key API. So you get the public key automatically. It's a public key, so you, you can use it. You encrypt with the public key, the content key. This is it, okay? And what you do, you put in the metadata of the document, the information about which double key encryption system you used and the encrypted green key protected with the double key encryption keys, which is the private key is never exposed, never export outside the HSM, stay in the HSM. And this is protected with the orange key. So now if you want to decrypt a document, you open your office application and then automatically your office client recognize within the document, looking the metadata. So extract the metadata. He find out, okay, this document is using a double key encryption system. Ah, he used the Securus 365 system. Then he will decrypt the metadata using the orange key. And he will extract the URL of double key encryption 365 to decrypt the green key, which has been protected by the blue key, which is stored in the Cloud HSM of Secure 365. So the document never, never is going outside your enterprise. We just receive a decrypt request with a key which is called wrapped key, encrypted with another key. This is end-to-end -end protected with JWT token. So I didn't explain, but when you call a decrypt, you pass the identity of the end users to the system, which verify back that you are the authorized users to can access the keys. So there is end-to-end -end access control rules from Azure to dual key, then to Secure Registry 65. And this is Swiss hosted. Then we say, okay, we can you decrypt that? The HSM say, yes, I can decrypt. You're authorized to decrypt. Then we decrypt. We give back the decrypted green key to Microsoft client, which then can display the document. So let's do live demo. It will be much more easier. I will share my screen. Um, give me a second. So this is a document I just previously encrypted, but I will do a new one, a fresh one. So let's say I have a product strategic document uh, I'm working on a business plan for my company, which is called Contozo. And this document contain, contain highly sensitive data. And this uh, highly sensitive data, I don't want Microsoft or any parties. It could, we, we speak about Microsoft, but let's be concrete. When you store something in the cloud, you don't want also insiders or outsiders being able to access your document or being able to decrypt your document, okay? So what we do, you see we have the sensitivity label here. So this comes out of the box with your license of Office 365 information governance or uh, uh, um, E5 license. So you can use two license, I will explain later. Then you have different label. So here for the demo, I prepare different label. The one we want to use today is the top secret 365 label. So you just apply the label. When you apply the label, the system will automatically encrypt the document, like you see here. And now the document has applied the double key encryption. And here you see, we just put uh, some uh, text to show that the document has been protected. It's few few milliseconds, so user will not notice it, so you can still work on the document. It's not uh, blocked, okay? Then I'm gonna save this document in my uh, cloud system, Office 365. So I will save it in the cloud and I will open it in my OneDrive. Uh, I just opened my OneDrive here, give me a second. So I will save it in my OneDrive or my SharePoint website. Okay, so let's do it now. Uh, this is not the wrong one. Let me open the, the good one. So I save it now to my OneDrive, my strategy document.
And then I can go to my OneDrive. My document is coming in my OneDrive, which is there. Let's refresh my OneDrive. So this is Microsoft Cloud, okay? So I close my document, let's close it. I will open directly from, let's say, someone who get access to my OneDrive without my authorization. So let's say someone was able to connect to my OneDrive from a cyber cafe, Wi-Fi, whatever. So you see the document, you say, nice. I got the strategy for the company. He tried to open it. Let's say he tried to open it from uh, his device, which is not connected to the Security 365. And then Microsoft say, hey, we cannot open this document within the browser because it's protected with ER information right management. You need to open it using your desktop version. So if it is a non-authorized users, he will not able to open it, not able to decrypt. If he's authorized user like me, he click, this will open his office client, which is using double key encryption. And then I will, I will be able to decrypt because I will prove my identity to uh, Security 365 that I'm Najiba Winnie. So I'm authorized to access the keys. I'm authorized to access DHSM. So this will decrypt the document. And this is it. For end user, it's really convenient, transparent, and easy, like doing a one click. Nothing to do, no certificate to install, no smart card, no PGP, no things. No, um, let's say client uh, application to install, except Microsoft 365 application. Okay, so let's go back to the to the data flow now. Yeah, I will share. Okay. How, come, how you can make it on your environment? So it's easy, you just need three things. The first thing is to buy your license with Microsoft, which is called E5, or now Microsoft offers the possibility to have a less expensive license than E5. You can buy the Microsoft Information Governance Protection License, which is cost seven, seven bucks or six, $6 per users. This one is much more expensive because it includes a lot of security features um, like threat protection, defenders, and so on. But if you just want the double key encryption features, you can just buy the Microsoft Information Governance and Protection License. Then you need to register with a Security 365 license. So I think Robert, you will talk about it after. And then you will configure your sensitivity level on your Security DK, I will show in a few seconds how it works. In that, you just need to deploy your label on your office client to all people you want to have the label. So you can do rollout per group, per users. Robert, can I just share again? So I can show the, yes, ah, it is here, perfect. So here, you see, you can create your label. So here I go to the protection.office.com. I create a label here, Security 365. Okay. So next, I lost the control, I think. Yeah, yeah sorry, I, I have it right now. Oh, yeah. yeah, perfect, you can keep it. Then when you create your label, you just say to the Microsoft protection label, you say this label can be assigned to this kind of user. So you can also assign for specific user or groups. So you see, here I put all authenticated user for the demo, but you can do fine grained permission. You can say they can edit the document, they can read the document, they can print, they can export. You can really do fine grained permission per label. Here in this case, I put all permissions so they can author, I can modify the document, but you can also have read only permission. So you can share document with some people. They cannot edit, they cannot print, and they just be able to read the document. And then, you put your Citrus, Security 365 double encryption URL. This URL is provided by Security when you enroll to the service. They give you a unique URL which corresponds to a unique key, which is unique to you, unique to your company. There is no sharing of keys between companies. And one key is one label, okay? Because you want to have different security policy or access control policy per keys then you can decide this key is linked to this group of users. This one is for the finance. This one is for the human resource. This one is for executive committee. You can create many labels as you want. 
depending on your uh, data governance or data protection approach. Next. And then what Hans Rudy explained, in fact, you hold the key that protect your sensitive information. No one else except you can decrypt the document. And this is called old urine key. And it's completely different from the former old urine key using Azure, Azure RMS. For people who used to, to play with Azure RMS, Azure RMS requires to install a complex internal setup with HSM, with PKI, with a lot of things. Here, you don't have to install anything on-prem. Next, please, Robert. So this, you, 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 you can see that this solves your compliance problem for specifically for people working in a bank, like, like I was working in my previous job at SEBA. You are able to protect your keys, you control your keys with a FIPS uh, grade security, like Secure Registry 65, but also you can prove to any auditor that you control the encryption keys. Not the cloud provider controls your keys, but you control the keys and you are ensuring that the data is even it's stored in US cloud, in any cloud, no one else can decrypt your document because the document is encrypted, decrypted at the end point, which means in Switzerland for people living in Switzerland, in Germany for people living in Germany, in France, whatever country. So we stay at the jurisdiction. The decryption really happen not in the cloud. It's really important to understand that. I think people think the cloud HSM do the decrypt. No, the cloud HSM just decrypt a green key, which is unique per document. He has no knowledge of your document. So the system does not know your document, does not, is not aware of whatever you decrypt. You just do a decrypt request, it decrypt a string. So you cannot, you cannot correlate the, the decryption to a document. That's really important. So the cloud provider, including Securosis, has no access to your encryption keys because you generated yourself. It stay in hardware security module. It cannot be exported in clear text, except if you provide uh, a specific settings that you allow for key wrapping for disaster recovery scenarios. And you keep total control of your access management to the keys using this end-to-end -end, uh, user identity, which is propagated from your device to the system. And all communication for sure are TLS encrypted with mutual TLS end-to-end. Uh, -end. Last slide, I think I'm done. Yes. Think, Let's move Robert, back to Hans Rodi. Thank you, Najib. Yes. I think Hans Rodi, you have control again. Huh. Yep. Thank you very much. That was a great presentation, Najib. Thank you for sharing the data flow. I'm now concentrating on the documents, on the files a bit more. I will show you some context of how these double key encryptions are done. So let's have a look at it. First, we go back to our document. We don't want anyone to look into it. Your secret product strategy or whatever you have decided to be strictly confidential. It's this one. Now, we apply a sensitivity label, such as strictly confidential. So, what happens then? Then, there is a local content encryption key, encrypting the content of your document. Now, as you can see in the green area here, the content which was readable before isn't readable anymore because it's encrypted by that content encryption key. So content is encrypted now. Next step. We take that Securus's encryption key and encrypt the content encryption key we had before. So it's useless without the red key, which is a private key of an asynchronous key pair of Securus 365. Now, since that local key has been encrypted, there's no way to read the document without Securus 365. The next step, Microsoft 365 now encrypts the file's complete metadata 
containing the encrypted content decryption key and stores it to SharePoint and OneDrive. You now need both keys, the red Securities key and the blue Microsoft key. I see we didn't synchronize the colors, Nagib. We should do that next time. So we have our two keys now and we will need both to decrypt the data, the content of your document, when the process will be reversed to read the Microsoft 365 file. So what did we do? We successfully mitigated the risk of a data breach. No one can read encrypted content. It's just useless data. Now we can provide standardized cloud environment advantages to highly regulated businesses. Because now we can make sure no one, not even Microsoft, can read confidential data without permission. We are safe with Microsoft 365. Enterprises such as finance, healthcare, public services, law firms can now prove that no one will read confidential content without access to both of their keys. And we have been making Microsoft 365 suitable for Swiss regulation requirements. We can meet legal requirements to keep certain data confidential within an organization. The Securities 365 encryption key will never ever leave it to somewhere key owners did not provide access for. And we stay independent. We make rules of our own and we enforce these rules by ourselves. So Securities 365 gives you the freedom to use Microsoft 365. Whatever rules you need to comply with. So far, that's my presentation. And I give back to Robert for the Q&A session. If you have any questions, please ask. We will be happy to answer them. So before we get to the Q&A, um, let me turn on my video again. So good. I have a couple more slides. Um, we're talking about this HSM and I've seen a lot, quite a few people here that haven't heard about HSM before. So it's, it's uh, how, what do I think, what do you have to think of a HSM, this hardware security module? Quite often we compare it uh, to a vault, except uh, being a physical vault in a bank, it's, it's a digital vault. And the digital vault for encryption keys. Um, it actually doesn't just store the keys, it also generates the keys. It controls who can use the keys, controls the access to it, and provides uh, cryptographic algorithms. And it's all in a tamper-proof proof box, uh, fail-safe, and it's operated typically redundant. So if one box fails, you still have the keys available in another HSM box. As many people don't want to operate these HSMs like servers anymore by themselves. And I mean, the idea of Microsoft 365 really is I don't have my own servers anymore. I use servers in the cloud. The same thing uh, we are offering with cloud HSM. Before I get to the cloud HSM, here are a couple of pictures of our HSMs. Uh, as they are used in different systems already all over the world. The cloud HSM is operated currently in three data centers in Switzerland. Uh, these three data centers, two of them are uh, regular data centers and that's where you get the operational access when you use Securities 365. And we have a third data centers inside a mountain, inside a bunker, nuke proof uh, for a backup. If so, if really something happens to two data centers at the same time, so we still have the keys and can make uh, your data available uh, through the third data center. The advantage of the cloud HSM is Securities is managing it. So you have nothing to do with the HSM itself to operate it. We offer the HSM at different quality levels or uh, different uh, yeah, offerings for this. They have multi-tenancy HSMs, uh, 
uh, Cloud HSM, a sandbox for testing and an economy echo service uh, for people that don't want to have shared HSMs uh, and want to have their own. So we have platinum services and we offer specific services on the HSMs like uh, as, you, as we're talking today, Securus is 365. We have also FIPS service, uh, FIPS certified HSMs and uh, blockchain services for HSMs. Currently, the, we have a Swiss cluster running, and we actually have it running for quite a few years. So it's uh, tested, works, uh, has quite a few customers on it, and uh, we're going to expand it now internationally. So we're going to build a European cluster, we're going to build an Asian cluster, and we're going to build an American cluster over the over the over uh, uh, sometime this year. And uh, once we have uh, HSMs in three different locations all over the world. We actually can also make a worldwide cluster. So wherever in the world are, you have quick access to one of our HSMs. So how do we do uh, distribute uh, this service? So uh, together with DuoKey, we, we actually provide the service Securus 365, typically, the end users will not uh, buy it directly from us. We will go through uh, Microsoft partners or integration partners, people that already work with you and provide you, help you uh, get Microsoft, Microsoft 365 running in your organization, in your company, your enterprise. And these partners will help you also install Securus 365 and set up the service. So getting to the last slide here before the Q&A, uh, we summarize uh, the presentation. Um, with Securus 365, you can actually secure your Microsoft 365 Office application data files documents. You decide what security level you want to have and the documents are secured by two keys one by Microsoft and one uh, that you hold or we hold for you in, in the Securus 365. That means both keys are needed to see the document. So neither Microsoft nor Securus nor DuoKey Duo key can actually view your documents. Only you can actually access your documents. So the service, as we said, is operated in Switzerland and uh, keys are stored in Switzerland with Swiss HSMs. Um, as we expanded internationally, we also can also offer the service in, in other jurisdiction. Um, that's coming up in over the year, in the sometime this year. We're currently having uh, pilot deployments here uh, in uh, during this month and next month, and we start the general rollout in uh, in April and May. Um, we have a going to have different service levels available uh, for this, and uh, we're currently looking uh, to onboard the partners, the companies that are helping you set up this service or help you run this with your organization. So, if you're interested in this, please please join uh, call us and. We talk. We can so we can talk to you and uh, tell you how what needs needed to be done. Great. These were the slides. I think that's the last slide. Thank you for your attention, and uh, we're getting to the Q and A.